Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who has risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, many people are talking that the world seems like it's heading towards World War III. In the Bible, there is a World War III, and it's all about bringing about the new world order and bringing Russia out. Many people are even talking that Obama would like to see World War III start before his presidency is over, so it will be part of his legacy that he wants to do this win or lose well these things are shown all around us because the Freemasons the Illuminati and the world elite want this to happen also they put these things on vision boards all around us and it's going by the Bible in times it shows right here that Obama and Hillary Clinton are actually working with Russia to try to prepare for the nuclear war coming and that they actually want the dollar to crash do you see China right here with what's called the nuclear football and this represents the fifth angel in the Bible which brings the key to open the abyss as well as a great earthquake hitting the west coast of the USA this might even be a date of 11.5 or 11.3 or it's the 11.5 earthquake on the San Andreas fault line which you can see that all planned right there there is Russia there is China and North Korea and all ready to rise up. Now, these things are shown to us all around. Even in TV shows. Last night, in the MacGyver episode, MacGyver was stopping a Russian nuclear bomb from blowing up part of the USA. And it literally, they had two or three other shows on, like... Legends of Tomorrow, which was showing New York being nuked. And in here, they were stopping a special bomb called the Firebird. And it actually represents the Phoenix rising and such. But we show how all of this is going by script, and it's all actually mapped out. Here is Moscow. This is mapped out in Washington also. Right up here shows the Firebird when it rises because it's all mapped out as a grid. Do you see this phoenix as it rises? This represents what some people call their rapture event also as all of these world cataclysms hit. It's known as the end of the time of the dog. Do you see the nukes as the feet right here? And then they hit this dog. See that? That represents the gate for grace and mercy. And then Jesus Christ says that whoever does not go in this, that, they, that the people will be locked out in utter darkness and gnashing of teeth. It has a lot to do with ganache, the war stomping elephant. And you can see right here, this bear. Do you see this bear? And his teeth are all messed up? because now it represents the time of the gnashing of the teeth coming and the Russian bear has the oil for what's called the foolish virgins and this is why Hillary Clinton keeps saying Russia hacked us representing the guillotines coming this little bottle of oil is actually in the Bible and it's given to the to the bad guys see Putin and he has it right here in his hand with this flute going to it and then they blend the Catholic Church and the Russian Orthodox Church and Islam all together in a new world order. Right there. It shows here that Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, and Obama are going to go hide in this hole in the ground. And this is where they have spent the $19 trillion to build underground bunkers to escape from the virus and the plagues and to escape from the wrath of the lamb coming so they are preparing for nuclear war we do not know when but let's keep watch
there it is right there. It was in last night's TV show. Here it is right here. They were trying to stop the Firebird last night. There is the Firebird, the beginning of nuclear war. We have tracked this event over to the west coast of the USA and to New York. They want to hit the east and west coast and they want to hit Yellowstone Volcano as well as the fault lines and our world leaders want it to happen. Thank you very much everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. This mouth being torn up has a lot to do with what's called ganache and gnashing of teeth in the Bible. It's for what's called the foolish virgins. The wise virgins actually leave on this phoenix eagle of Revelation 12. Yes. So there it is. Just like the MacGyver episode last night. So keep faith and call out to the Lord Jesus Christ. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. That is the oil for the foolish virgins, and it's being given to the Russians right there. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah.